Okay, this is going to be a reply at MoneyGraph. Yes. So this is at MoneyGraph himself. And that's what this video is. Okay. You know, MoneyGraph's been around a long time. I watched him way back after I first come online when I first brought the TFL thing up. I ran under this man. And he used to do a lot of parodies, a lot of skits. He's got a lot of costumes. He used to dress up. He did a lot of really, some people say crazy. I liked it. Okay, I really did. I liked what he was doing. And I watched him for a long time. I liked him. And then through research, I see all this. Oh my God, there's so much disinformation out here on top of truth that's mixed in with disinfo. And it's really deep. And there's so many people that attack this man, I'm telling you, okay? And I went down a few rabbit holes in my research time. And, you know, and I see things for what they are. And I call them what they are. And not always am I accurate, okay? I try to be as accurate as I can because I don't come up here and lie to anybody. It's not about ditching on anybody. It's not about dumping on about anybody. It's always been about fighting against corruption and getting men and women back together again. The broken down family unit. You know, Monty, as of recently, I've been watching you quite a bit, and I'll tell you what. Man, when you say Truth Channel, you're not lying. You've been putting out some really super good information, and I find it funny because I research things without you, uh, and then I start watching you again, and I haven't watched you in a while. And during this invisible enemy thing, okay? And I'll tell you what, the stuff you've been showing and the stuff that I've researched and I find it matches up to what you're showing. And then you should show me some stuff that I had to go dig in myself and oh my God, how right you are. And I can see it in you and I see it in your face. I see it in your behavior. They should be totally honest, man. I have to tell you something with that monograph. I want to tell you sorry for anything that I've done in the past because you deserve that, okay? So I will give you that apology because you do deserve that. And in today's time with NWO coming in on top of us now, that's right, as they're bringing it in, this is not a time to be divided, okay? This is not a time to be pointing our fingers. No more than he knows me, monograph here, no, I know him. Okay? I know this. I'm about truth. And we've all gone down rabbit holes learning this adventure of all this knowledge that was kept from us our whole lives. Every last human on this planet are victims to this. The exception of the people doing it to us. Okay, and I have a, to say this, you know, respect is mutual, Mommy. I give everybody respect that I don't know. Mutual respect. Anything past me, anything past mutual if I don't know you. Any respect after mutual has to be earned. Okay, and without even knowing you in real life, You've moved past mutual respect. I've actually got respect from you beyond mutual now. I really do. Because I see it, man. I clearly see it. You're being so honest and so caring in this situation. You know what I know. And you're correct. You're not wrong. You're correct. And you're giving your opinion just like I'm going to give my opinion. And I see it. We're in deep, deep crap. <laughs> I mean, we're buried. I don't, I don't know if we can come out of this. I actually don't. You know, Monty, you say that you're the, uh, you have a master's degree in NWO. I say you have a lot of knowledge in NWO potential. <coughs> I myself also have one heck of a lot of knowledge in NWO. 
you know, when I touch the side of NWO, that I have never seen anybody touch money, not even you. I've never seen anybody touch it. You know, if we took NWO, the entire NWO, we, we placed it inside an apple, an apple has a core, or a pear that has a core. The core of NWO isn't what everybody's been talking about with the exception of myself or Mr. Hulk over there. Why? Because the dating arena is the core of NWO. And I'm telling this to you, Monty, and I want to, you know, because this is the real truth. You are being very honest, and I see it in you. You've earned more respect than I, you know. You're beyond mutual respect with me, man. You're real. And I like that about you, okay? So even with hard feelings from the past, I could never be mad or dislike you. How? Don't even know you, okay? But I can say that I have more than just mutual respect for you. I really do. And I will say this. When I say the core of NWO is the dating arena, the division of the genders, the breakup of the family, I'm not joking. Because, see, when they're done and got everything in place, you'll be in an asexual society. Oh, yeah, you will. You not only be in an asexualist society, sexless society, You'll find it's probably against the law to have appropriate. Oh, yeah. All you got to do is pay attention to one phrase on the Georgia Guidestones. To reduce the population down to 500 million. And to never allow the population to rise above that number again. Well, how would you stop the population from rising above that number? Oh, through lots of means. Through chemtrails, through GMO foods, processed foods, through big pharma and medical industry, you know, who proclaims to be here to help you when they've never been here to help you. Okay, never. It's always been about the dollar. That's right, control, absolute control. See, the gender thing, the TFL thing, the incel thing, the men's right activist, you know, Pauline, okay, and Karen Stroud, go to the what, mm -hmm. okay, and all of this stuff that's been going on online and all of this stuff that's going on in our world. We have so many lies going on, so much deception. And Monty, you know this already. We're surrounded with this deception with the truth being buried within. And you have to do a lot of digging. That's right. you got to spend a lot of time digging and doing your homework and use critical thinking skills. Oh, but they don't want us having that. Okay. And have your eyes open to what's going on around you to be aware of what's going on around you. And I'm very aware of what's going on around me. And I've been speaking out about this for a long time, Monty, but i got something to show you. Something was said on this particular show of yours about Zoom. And I know that you use Skype. This is all I know about you from what you say, okay, from your words. And I believe you. I really do. Okay? And I can also tell that you don't use Zoom. You don't know about Zoom. But you made a statement that you believe, and I don't know where you got your information. I'm sure you got it from somewhere. Okay, and that's really none of my business, but I want to correct you on something here. And I'm going to point it out to you, okay? And it's going to be so in your face, okay? But at least you'll know the real truth now, okay? Because the fact that Zoom is competing against YouTube is not true at all, Monty. Not true whatsoever. And now I'm going to show you what I'm talking about so you understand what I'm talking about this is Steve Holcomb this is my buddy man this is my friend this is the other part of TFL Monty that's right he done a live stream on YouTube he sure done he done a bunch of them already just like I do just like you do Monty and 
At one time, Steve used to use the Google Hangout to do all of his live streams. But they'd done away with the Google Hangout. He couldn't do live streams through Google Hangout no more. Because it don't work no more. They upgraded like YouTube always does. You know, Google. Did you notice in the corner down here, Monty? See, Monty, I have a paid Zoom account, too. That would cost me, what, 16 bucks a month. Okay. Zoom was uh, first constructed for corporations and businesses. And it was a professional platform for video conferencing with companies that have meetings with across the United States or the world that don't want to travel that can do it video chat. So it's a video conferencing software that was created first for businesses who branched out and made a public version for people, nobodies like myself. Okay? And that's why it's cheap. Go to the other side and you'll find out it's very expensive to have. Like, during this lockdown over our invisible enemy that don't exist, and the schools are out, but I know of one school, one school system that's using two platforms up in your state, in Ohio, up in Colorado, and one of them is using Zoom and the other one isn't. There's other there's other platforms out here like it. I personally, in my opinion, like Zoom better than I do. Skype, I really do. Quality's better. The sharing a screen feature, the things you can do with Zoom compared to Skype. Now, I wouldn't go back to Skype. That's just me. That's my opinion, okay? I've been using Zoom for quite a while, and at one time you could not. I used the OBS Studio when Steve uh, to go on to YouTube Live. I was using the OBS Studio, and Steve was using Google Hangout. I had Zoom, and Zoom would not go into the OBS Studio, or you couldn't live stream on YouTube with it at first. But nowadays, Monty... Here about a year or so ago, I got an update, and in that update included Zoom on my OBS studio. And also I had to do a select and put it in feature, and I could do what? I could go use Zoom through the OBS studio to go live. Well, Zoom's also been uh, integrated to replace the Google Hangout. This is how Steve uses it. Steve don't use the OBS Studio like myself. He has a paid Zoom account, which gives him up to a hundred callers, okay, for that cheap price as a non-business, and he can share a screen in the middle of a video and show you anything he wants. He sure can, and you know, and it's one of these things that he does and. I do, and I've been using Zoom for quite some time now, and I really like Zoom. But I'll tell you something before I get out of here, because I don't want to bore you. But I want you to look into this, because you're going to realize that Zoom is not the competitor of YouTube. Zoom is in bed with YouTube. Zoom is integrated into YouTube's live streams. Replacing the Hangout, the Google Hangout, and uh, integrated in, I can put it in the OBS Studio and go live and use Zoom right on YouTube, just like Steve Hoka does the opposite of me, not through OBS. And that's why he's got the Zoom in his corner. And I'll put background drops in because they do have a glitch of somebody calls because I actually have a call in number through Zoom. That allows anybody to dial this toll free number and I can put in the ID number I give to them and they can come right into the meeting and if I'm live they come right into the show. I have the privilege of removing them and even blocking them if they troll me money. If you wish to try Zoom yourself, I think you would like it. But that's totally up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just pointing out one thing only. 
that Zoom is not the competitor of YouTube. They're in bed together. Okay. But anyhow, Monograph, I want to apologize for any ill behavior from research and some rabbit holes I may have gone down. And I want to give you what you deserve, the apology for that. And I want to let you know you're doing a damn good job, and I can see it in you. You've been very honest through this, and I mean, you don't want this no more than I do. No more than any of us do. So I stand with you, Monty. I really do. And that's why I made this video directly at you. Because I want you to know that I'm not against you, man. I don't dislike you. How can I? We may have had some differences in opinions and what have you. But, you know, you may have been expected, you know, you may have been labeled in a possible agent, shield, employee the establishment at one time, you know. And I just got to say, there's so much lies and so much out here. We have a lot of agents here on YouTube, employees of the establishment, a lot, a lot. And sometimes for different reasons for different people. But now's the time to understand that if we don't stop playing games and we don't stand together, we're probably already too late. Because you're right, Monty. You're not wrong. And I know you have a lot of knowledge with NWO. I have no doubt about that. I don't consider myself as having a master's degree, but then... That's my opinion versus your opinion, but you have a right to your opinion as I have a right to my opinion in NWO. But I'll tell you what, I have one hell of a lot of knowledge on it. I've been studying it a long time, and I know damn well you're correct on what you're saying. I'm, I don't care what people tell me, man. And when you say you're the evidence channel, you put it in their face. And even if you make a mistake here and there, so happen what? None of us, none of us are perfect. Okay? We all make mistakes as human beings. It's about learning from your mistakes and not repeating. That's what it's about. Because when you learn from your mistake and you don't repeat them and you keep educating yourself as I know you've done, like I've done, but I do hope that you'll see that the dating arena is the core of NWO. Because they keep that number under 500 million globally. It means you have to take control of what? What? Appropriation creating babies. Which means you have to break up the genders. You have to do anything that will destroy the chances of the population continuing to grow. And I do think you understand what I'm saying. It's not a topic you've ever talked about. I'm not asking you to talk about it by no means. Okay, so don't take it that way. Because I'm definitely not. Okay. I just want you to be aware that that is the truth. Maybe you don't talk about that, but that is the truth. That is the core of NWO, on top of all the other stuff we know it really is. And it's so personal. It's so personal. And I only want that division between all of us to go away. I've been fighting division for years, Monty. My goal was to try to get men and women to look at each other and recognize each other as human beings. And all of this male bashing that's in the media to go away. And all of this social engineering to divide the genders, both genders, to be able to look at it and see what they're doing to us, and for men and women to come back together again. Okay, that's all I've ever wanted, but, you know. And then, of course, to stop the NWO. For us, worldwide, to be able to see what was going on and stop these psychopathic criminals. And I think you're on board with that, I really do. So, no, I'm not going to, you know, be anything than who I am, and I'm going to stay who I am, but I want to tell you thank you for what you've been doing. Okay? You deserve that. And I wanted to let you know that I have more than mutual respect for you because you've earned it. 
because I know real when I see it. And you're being real. You're being yourself, but by God, you're being real and you're telling truth. And you're giving your opinion as you see it. And I have respect for you for that. I really do. So I'm going to get on out of here. I'd love to make contact with you sometime on the side. It's totally up to you. I got some things I would love to show you that I'm not going to show anybody here because it needs to be done in private. It doesn't need to be done in a live stream or a video for the public to see. Okay. I think you know how to reach out to me if you choose to. I wouldn't mind talking to you on the side if you ever have a free moment. Okay, but that's totally up to you, Monty. But I have a lot of respect for you, I really do. And with that, I'm going to keep watching you. You keep doing what you're doing, and I'll keep doing what I'm doing. And I'll keep leaving you alone. Like you keep leaving me alone. And if you want to talk, I would love to do that because I have a lot of respect for you, man. I really do. And I even talk about on my TFL Saturday Night Live. I even bring your name up, bring topics up you talk about, and I bring topics up I talk about. I talk about NW all the time in the dating arena, always have. Okay? But I'm on board with you. Okay, I really am. With that, I'm out of here, guys.